But the local hospitality industry, desperate for workers, the marketing wing of that sector told today held its second job fair to fill thousands of vacant jobs. And of course, for months, enhanced unemployment benefits from the federal government have been blamed for a nationwide labor shortage. But as Tan Trung discovered at today's job fair, the reasons why some people have been out of work can be very personal. For the second time in two months, the Morial Convention Center became the site of a job fair mostly for the hospitality and tourism industry in New Orleans. I think everyone has a different situation and obviously the hospitality industry was absolutely devastated by COVID-19. People have had to make really tough personal and professional decisions. The pandemic forced Pat Powers to look for part-time work. Living on Social Security ain't easy. <laughs> you know, it's tough. Social Security pays you, but it doesn't pay you enough. We spoke with Powers and several other job seekers. They're fully aware of what some critics are saying about the extra unemployment benefits during the pandemic, that they've made it easier for people to stay at home and wait for checks. It's an easy thing to think because you're sitting at home, you have a job or you're retired from a job. These women say what's kept them out of work is personal and complicated. No work, no money to pay your bills, it's hard. You got kids, it's hard. It's a lot of people think we're at the bottom of the totem pole. Before COVID, Paula Evans spent more than 20 years in the hotel industry. She says despite all the help wanted signs around town, jobs are not guaranteed. Then there's the issue of pay for what's been deemed essential work. Housing, utilities, everything is going up. But how can the average person make it off of $7.35. Kelly Schultz with New Orleans and Company, which organized this job fair, says many employers hear the calls for living wages and benefits. It's a very competitive time right now. You know, people are going where they're going to get competitive wages. And I can tell you that many of these hospitality companies are ready to pay competitive wages. Many of these jobs here today have benefit packages. A lot of people now are saying, well, we're offering more pay, we're offering more benefits. Are you seeing that no. as, as you're searching? No, not everywhere you apply, no. With her grandson in her arms, Peggy Gould is searching for a job. As a waitress, she was once part of a $10 billion industry that drove the city's economy. It's a personality-driven business that right now is short of people. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. Now, at last month's job fair, 230 people reportedly found jobs. The enhanced unemployment benefits are set to expire at the end of July in Louisiana after Governor Edwards signed a bill to raise the state benefit by $28 a week beginning next year.